Hi guys, so I'm going to introduce how you can hire people on Upwork. So the first thing you want to do is go to upwork.com and in upwork.com you can see the dashboard after you've logged in and just click the post a job here. Upwork is amazing for hiring talent. I've been using it so much. So there's two types, you can choose part-time or long-term. So it depends what kind of person you're looking to hire. So I'm looking for a short-term and so I choose that and then I will enter the job post title which would be say for example I'm hiring looking for video editor for my YouTube channel about personal and business growth so looking for a video editor so it's really there's a lot of people on Upwork so it's really important to try and attract the best people there's a lot of people who are actually not very good so then you choose what kind of skills you want because that's going to be the categories of people that are going to get this notification and so pretty much this is all i'm looking for like editing and video youtube skills and this is a medium term role uh, so i'm actually looking for someone for short term so maybe i will say actually it's a kind of a medium term role for three to six months and i'm looking for intermediate level i want them to be pretty good not the most expensive but pretty good so for my hourly rate there's two ways to do it one of them is you can set an hourly rate if you know what you're willing to pay and then sometimes I like to not set an hourly rate because I want them to tell me the price so I'm going to not set an hourly rate because often I find when you set the hourly rate everyone will give you that rate and so you want to try and work out what actually people are willing to work for. So that's why I decide often not to do that. So then you write the description. So I'm just going to write, I am looking for a video editor. So it's really important to try and make the description very engaging and very attractive for people because there's a lot of people here and why should they do this job so and then be very clear about the type of person that you're looking for so i'm looking for a video editor to help edit videos for my youtube channel there will be three to five videos per week looking for someone with high quality Okay, so then this is the basic information about what I'm looking to post. I might want to add a bit more about to try and make it more interesting for people. So there's kind of two ways that I'm thinking about hiring for this job. One of them is to set like a monthly salary, say for example, $2,000 monthly salary, or the other one is just to leave it open with the price and let people uh, bid on it. So I don't know which one is likely to get the best people. So I might actually try this and see how it goes. And then I might adapt it depending on the quality of people who are applying. And maybe it might be better if I say I'm willing to spend $2,000 or I'm willing to spend 15 US dollars per hour, something like that. Sometimes it needs a bit of experimentation, but I'm just going to go this, do this out here because I want to see what kind of people are going to apply and what kind of price the market is saying. So now I've just posted it and you can see it's really easy to post the job. And now I'm gonna go through. So just posting it is good, but it's important to try and reach out to people as well to invite them to the job. So the kind of people that I'm looking for are video editors. And I want them to be amazing at English. Probably want to choose this kind of hourly rate. And I don't want any agencies and I'm pretty open to where they're from and then I might spend a bit of time going through all of these to see how good these guys are and how good the video editing is. There's a lot of different people here from all over the world and a lot of it is kind of experimentation 
and to see how it goes. And so my suggestion is to kind of look through the good people. I'm not going to spend time because I think this part needs a lot of time to go through each person's profile and then see if you think they're good or not and then invite them to the job. So for example, if I invite this guy to the job, then he will be invited to send me an offer on the job offer. So then when I get the job offers, I will, the proposals will come through here. And normally you will get about 30 to 60 different proposals for the job. You can actually get more by doing some kind of promotion here, but I never actually do that. But it might be worth doing that and trying to see what kind of people will apply on that basis. And so then when the proposals come in, then you can just click through and then choose the people and basically message them, try and work out if you think they're good or not. Then I would basically give them like a small test. For example, give them a basic editing test to see to give them maybe about a one minute video and ask them to edit it for one minute and then see how that goes and have a look at it and then see how well they actually do the work and how good the result is. Then after that, I would then go on to like a, giving them a bigger project such as one day or one video and then paying them for that time. And then if that goes well, then just extend it for longer. And it's really important just to try and find the really best people. Okay, and then the other thing is when you have a job, when you're giving some people an offer, so let me have a look at a job offer, for example. So here you get the job offer and then you have the choice about if you're going to hire the freelancer or not. And then if you choose to hire them, you can click through and then you can choose the terms. So you have the option of paying them per hour or a fixed price. Basically depends on what you decide for that. There can be advantages in having fixed price or, an, or per hour. And then when you do that, you want to make sure that the job, the work details and job description is really clear so that they know what they're doing. And it's really important that you go through this process before you start a job. Otherwise, it could be really confusing and and you can then after you do that, then you can agree this. I would normally suggest like starting with a different with a certain project first, such as like a fixed project first and then choosing the date for it. And then instead of doing a per paper the hour weekly basis, because you want to try it for a bit and see how it goes, maybe a fixed price is better and then you can move over to hourly when you know how it works. And then you just click through and then you continue and then this amount will be taken directly from your bank account and it's pretty easy to hire on Upwork. So I hope that's helpful and thank you guys for watching and good luck hiring on Upwork.